Hi guys, it's Jeff at Slavens Racing. This video is about how to re-lube a moose. Uh, we sell several brands of mooses. Uh, they all work well. Um, this tire has a <clears throat> nitro moose plushie in it, so the softer one. And I use this in, in Baja. Uh, I did a trip down there in April. And this is a IRCM 5B, excellent tire for that application. It's a great tire for dual sport. It's a great tire for a lot of trail riding applications. It's, as you can see, it's a really gnarly tire. And this tire already has about 650 miles on it. And you can see it's still got a lot of rubber left uh, on the knobs. But uh, after, you know, 600 miles or so, you probably should have a little extra lubricant put in there. I'm going to take this on another 600 mile ride uh, in a week or so on the BDR. And so I'm going to re-lube this without tearing it down. So, you know, what guys normally do is they pull the tire, the tire off the rim and then they re-lubricate the moose. Well, that's a lot of work. And uh, so what I, I do is at a bicycle, at any, any of the bicycle shops, they sell Stan's products. Stan's makes uh, a sealant for tubeless bicycle tires. And they have this thing called the injector, uh, which is just a syringe with a, I've got this bolt in here to just hold the lubricant in there, a syringe with a, a fitting here that will fit on a valve stem. All right, so when I mount mooses, I always put in a valve core. You can see right here. This is the rim lock, this is the valve core. And I use that for a couple of reasons. One is sometimes you have to put air in the system to get the, the tire to fully pop out on the bead, but I primarily put it in there to add lubricant, add the silicone lube. And we sell these, they're, I believe they're $6. This is basically a street bike valve stem. Uh, very easy to install. And then that gives you access to, for air pressure or the lubricant. I highly recommend you use the nitro lube. Or we also sell them the uh, Michelin lube, but the Michelin lube is more money and it has half as much silicone in it. So the silicone content, the volume is the same, but the silicone content is half of what it is in these. So the, you know, you're getting a lot more lube, lubrication for the dollar on the nitro lube. All right, so I've already taken this lubricant and put it in this syringe. And I'm gonna screw this on here. And I'm gonna squeeze it in. It doesn't just, you know, you can't just uh, squirt it right in there like you would on a tubeless tire adding um, tire sealant. You gotta take your time, but it's still way faster than, and a lot less labor than uh, unmounting the tire. So basically guys, you can see I've already done, got about half of it in there. And it will find its way around. All right, so tubeless, is, those guys do a lot of testing on stuff. And they've been testing on how to install the lubricant prop the easiest way. That's the way I do it as well. So what you, the easiest way to install this, you know, before you mount the tire and the moose. So before you even put the moose inside the tire. So typically in the past, we always put the lubricant on the moose, and then you gotta wrestle this greased pig to try to get it stuffed inside of the tire. You know, it shoots back out at you, it gets on your clothes, all over your hands and arms, uh, who knows where else, and uh, it's a pain in the butt. So the easiest way to do it is just, you know, remove this cap and squirt the lubricant in the crown of the tire, in the very top, you know, deep inside of here, so the crown of the tire. Squirt a bead of it all the way around 
and Tubeless uh, tested this, and what they did was they uh, installed it that way, they put a bead of it in there, then they installed the moose dry, they mounted the, the, the tire moose on the wheel, and they went out and rode it for only 15 minutes, came back, tore it back down, it had already spread the lubricant everywhere on, on the moose and the tire that it needed to be. I mean, uh, it, it just, it was like you had done it uh, before you mounted it. But, so you don't really need to go through that hassle of lubricating the moose and then wrestling it in there. Um, so guys, that's, that's my tip of the, of the day for mooses. Uh, I know a lot of guys email me or I see posts where they say, oh, they tore down, they pulled the tires off the rims and re lubricated the, the moose. But if you just install this before you install the moose, um, then you can re-lubricate. Now I still put the lubricant in the, in the crown of the tire, just like I mentioned on the initial install. This is for after you've been riding it and you want to add some lubricant to it. And as you can see, it's pretty slick and easy. Um, and it will dissipate and, and find uh, all the little nooks and crannies inside that tire and moose combination of where it needs to be. All right, guys, uh, that's all for now. Please, uh, if you would, like us on Facebook and Instagram and subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, give us a shout out once in a while and please throw us a bone uh, when you can. Also, uh, be kind to all the other trail users and be a great uh, ambassador for our trails. Get out there and, and do trail repairs, cut out downfall, fix erosion spots. You know, you don't have to go out there on an organized trail day to do that. Uh, throw some equipment in your backpack or whatever and uh, uh, go out and do it on your own with, her, with a buddy. And uh, actually, you know, I kind of enjoy it once in a while. It it's, you know, sounds like work, which it is, but it's... You know, it's hard to complain about being out in the mountains or out on a trail somewhere. All right, guys, that's all for now. Get out for some throttle therapy. Hope to see you on the trail.